when I had my bike looked at, I had a couple of issues that I wanted some opinions on. From what I, uh, I heard over the phone, shouldn't be that difficult to figure out what's wrong with it and fix it. And... But then again, I've heard that several times from the other Harley shop in town. And I got a, a customer at work who talks to me about bikes every now and then. He keeps telling me to, to go by his buddy's shop and it's starting to look more and more likely. But we'll see. I'm not really the, the kind of Harley guy who goes to the dealership like whenever he can and hang out and spend all kinds of time like that. That's just not my thing. If I'm going to hop on a bike, I'm going to go someplace, do something fun, or heck, just look around. But first, we need to get some gas. At 128 miles, it's not bad, but uh, I don't like it to drop down too low. Oop, neutral. Neutral. Look my way, please look my way. That's what I hate. When I clearly see someone coming up to a stop, rolling past it right to the edge of the, the intersection, and they don't even look my way once. It's like, oh right, that's where the oncoming traffic comes from. Usually got a couple good cops hanging out there, making sure everyone's being honest. Nobody today. putting in over here. Competing gas station right next door. Looks like it. Probably putting in a Walmart or something. Can't have enough Walmarts, just like Starbucks's. Well, let's go fill up. All right, let's reset. Let's head out. And this time I did remember to put some sunscreen on my left wrist. No point in turning my wrist completely brown or lobster red as it usually is. I'm not going to go by there. No. Yeah. That's not a good idea. Already feels better. I fucking missed the turn. Wow. That's dumb. <laughs> we'll turn here. And wasn't that I missed a turn by a small margin? I like missed it and missed it. 
like no idea where I thought I was going. Well, I knew where I was going. I don't know, maybe I got distracted. Sometimes a lot of thoughts just rebound in my head, but I, I don't actually vocalize them. It's often why it gets pretty darn quiet. Yeah, pretty sure it's my turn. My turn! My turn! I do not get to this road very often. Like, no idea where anything is. Huh. You? What's up? Yep, good thing I put sunscreen on. And red lights. Good God, what have we got here? Big old dump truck. Hey, that is weird. Let's see if we can catch up to that thing. Just a little over the speed limit. Just a little bit. Little bit. No cop. See if we can change some lanes here. I don't like being behind a big truck like that. I know it's pretty well secured, but you never know what's going to get kicked up. So much road debris on this road. Actually, the big danger is like pickups like this one here. Look at that. Junk piled up. No, no tarp covering it, securing anything. I once had a pretty, pretty close call. I saw this work truck, decided to back off a little bit. It had a ladder in it, leaning forward. And it turns out it had absolutely no straps holding it in. They were relying on its, its weight to hold it down, I suppose. And uh, sure enough, it goes over the, the bridge and a big gust of wind picks it up, drops it down right in front of me. I swear to God, if I hadn't uh, backed off so much, I would have wrecked pretty bad. Probably would have hit me directly if I was following him like usual. A bit of a life lesson and a story to tell. You know, perhaps you guys have a uh, uh, yeah, close call you'd like to share. Be, feel free to put it down in the comments. 
Now maybe you had some uh, run-in with an idiot who has no idea how to pack things. Maybe uh, it was just a, a close lane change. Maybe it was a last-minute uh, attempt to avoid something on your part. But go ahead and put a comment down. Maybe we can share some, some stories and we can learn some things from each other. Most of the close calls I face are people changing lanes into me. And uh, with, when I upgraded my pipes, that pretty much stopped just entirely. I mean, I don't have anybody changing lanes into me who's not doing it on purpose. And that lady has her phone out. I don't care if you have it holding it up to your face, it's still out. Oh, things are starting to slow down over here. Come on, people. Oh, come on. Maybe that's what all, oh no, there are lights. I saw lights. Is everyone getting off or something? A lot of tire debris. Maybe someone had a blowout. But the lights on the other side of the, the other side of the road and all the tire debris is over here. Oh yeah, let's just slow down and watch that. Yeah, that's that's great. That's what that was. Oh come on. Like you haven't seen a car with its hood up. It's not like they had a canine unit out searching the vehicle. That'd be something to watch. Yeah, we're gonna want to get over here now. What? Oh, hey, it's my buddy. It's my buddy. Hi, buddy. Oh, look at that paint. Sparkly. That he's going to Duke City too. Maybe. We'll turn here. Yeah, I like here. Not really the place to turn. That's a little steep and that's probably why come in the back way. Oh, what's that? Radio truck or something? Service ride in. Oh, 
fuck do I go?